I've amassed a worthy collection of treasure and trophies, heads and hides from all manner of foul beast, and even some lovely trinkets from the Second Age. But the whispered tales of one artifact continue to elude me. The legendary Forge Hammer, used by the Elves to craft the Rings of Power themselves. The hammers I found so far in my hunt have brought me no closer to finding the one I seek. Perhaps the spirit of the elves do not want to see their precious artifact in the hands of a dwarf. Torven will never understand how closely this hammer is bound to our fate. The metal will be worth.
I've met a mysterious man in my travels, a ranger of Gondor, named Talion. Over our fire, I asked after his weapons, impressive in their craftsmanship. A handsome blade, Orphael, has been at his side since his days stationed at the Black Gate, defending the borders of Gondor. But his dagger, Ahan, carries a sad tale. It too was once a mighty sword, carried by his murdered son, broken the night he died. Talion tells me Akarn means vengeance, and I have a feeling the blade will fulfill the meaning of its name. I have slain countless orc, but still I seek vengeance. and with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. The archers are running drills today. Hope they've improved from last week. Almost got an arrow in me bloody leg thanks to their dodgy You won't have to worry about that. They nailed every target they destroyed. Disgusting! Look at you!
going, but pathetic. <laughs> upon our master. Managed to tame a Grog. I hope I have put a permanent end to such an alliance. in Mordor cause even the Uruks and Trolls to quake in fear. And one such beast is the rare Horned Graug. Standing nearly five dwarves tall, they're nigh unstoppable juggernauts of wanton destruction. Their very skin is tougher than leather, resistant to even the sharpest steel. 
if you can get close enough to strike a blow. What I wouldn't give for a mithril blade on my next hunt for these dire monstrosities. I wonder what the Dwarf is obsessed over, now that his hated Graug is slain. Attention, Ranger! I think you're right, is he? You say something? <laughs> Butcher sending out extermination parties. They're wiping out every creature they can find. They're brutal killers, a lot of them. An ambitious war chief with a well trained army. Sounds like a challenge. But if you've told me anything, Master Dwarf, it's that the hunt can always turn against you. I'm not entirely sure what's happening in that mind of yours, Captain. But you've baited the hook now. Come on, out with it! I will bring a Graug to bear against their forces. I will show them Mordor cannot be tamed. Now that's a plan! Not very military, though, is it? You've been spending a bit too much time with me. But there's... Uh, one... Little problem you should know about. Despite all expectations, your problems are rarely ever little, Torben. Yes, well, then this shouldn't surprise you. These troops have already taken down a growl. Or three? You'll need to lure out a rare, wretched growl. A disgusting relative who's adapted to the poison from all the ghouls they eat. Wretched growl? Isn't that a bit redundant? I'm not sure what redundant is. But if it means poisonous, then yes, they are extremely redundant. All right, Master Dwarf. Show me how to lure these creatures out. And I will do the rest. Just a few scouts tangling with those ghouls. They should make easy prey.
Butcher may have lost his ranging parties, but as long as he remains safe in his stronghold, he'll train more of those killers. Show him the safety he can expect with a wretched Graug at his doorstep. <laughs> Even the Uruks fear the monstrosities of Mordor. I must kill the Butcher and keep the Orcs afraid.
The Dark Lord wants all men dead. I'm gonna kill you until you're dead. And Dark Lord like me. <laughs> me? There is no beast that I cannot kill. I will eviscerate you both. <laughs> Just another corpse. <laughs> 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 